top 30 scary ghost videos caught on camera. Chase the boat. Every once in a while somebody manages to capture strange sightings of creatures that are unknown or never thought to have existed in the first place. And that's exactly what this man may have captured in this video. Coming from the Facebook page Metropole, this footage shows a strange unknown creature that chased a man on a boat over in Brazil. We can see what looks like a long creature chasing after the boat at night and as the driver shines his light at it, we can't make out any details besides the glowing eyes of the creature reflecting the light. The man stated that the creature attempted to attack him and destroy the boat, which is why he was driving at such a high speed to get away, yet whatever it was managed to keep up with him with minimal difficulty. This video went viral with many viewers attempting to identify what this could be, with many suggestions such as a seal, sea otter, and some kind of eel, or a new unknown species that seems to be very aggressive, but it appears nobody has been able to truly say what this could be, especially since it would be hard for most animals to keep up with the boat's speed for such a long time. So just what do you think this could be? Is this an unknown mythical creature, or just something normal that's just too hard to make out? You be the judge. Demonic Reflection The next video comes from the YouTube channel Shadow Hunters UK TV who is also featuring Moxley's Paranormal World, along with Ghosts on Trent, to which they decided to stay over at the house at 30 East Drive, Pontrefact in the UK. I featured a video on the same house in the past, which is basically a house where former residents, the Pritchard family, became subject to one of the most incredible poltergeist hauntings of all time, in the late 60s and the poltergeist was given the name Black Monk. In this video, the team conducts multiple paranormal investigations in the house, and aside from some minor evidence like the REM pond going off, not much really happens, except at one point during the investigation, when Amy looks into the mirror, we see something quite terrifying. As Amy looks into the mirror and opens her mouth, it suddenly gapes wide open as if a demon took over for a mere instant, attempting to transform her face, which appears to freak herself out as she notices. So just what could this be? Is it an attempt at demonic possession, maybe caused by looking into the mirror? As they do say mirrors are portals to another world. Let me know your thoughts down below. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is one of the first games that will keep you playing on your phone all day. There's over 600 champions to collect and a variety of skills and gear sets to equip. So choose your team wisely and prepare to raid. Raid has just released a new legendary champion who may seem familiar. <laughs> that's perfect. Um, no, not you, Death Knight. We are talking about Ultimate Death Knight. How dare you? Sorry, why don't you tell us what you think of him? I heard his armor is made of paper mache. Now tell us about the Death Knight Hunt event. Raid is giving you Ultimate Death Knight, who, reminder, is not me, for free. Uh, just log in, play seven times between now and October 27th, 
and Ultimate Death Knight is yours. Enter promo code DK Rises for a ton of free items to instantly upgrade Ultimate Death Knight to level 55 star Ascension. So now is the perfect time to jump on raid. And if you haven't started yet, click the link in the description or scan my QR code here on screen and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free Epic Champion Verges, 200k Silver, 1 Energy Refill, 1 XP Boost and 1 Ancient Shard so you can summon some insane champions as soon as you get in game. And for new players only, rewards will be found here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. So download Raid now. I'd love to. Paranormal Mimic. This next video comes from the TikTok page UpGeo. A man named Giovanni is experiencing something very bizarre. He says that he recently moved into a new home together with his girlfriend and everything was going normal until one night when he heard a strange sound while sleeping with his girlfriend in the living room and after focusing his attention on it he realized it was something familiar yet impossible at the same time leaving him creeped out this is what he captured After waking up to a strange voice and focusing his attention on it, he realized it was the voice of his girlfriend coming from another room, but he can clearly see her asleep right beside him. This left him so scared that he didn't dare to go and investigate since he couldn't comprehend the fact that he was hearing her voice around the house when she was asleep. And later one night, he goes live to explain the situation and captures this. Muita gente estava pedindo explicações, então eu vim aqui trazer explicações agora. É, eu gravei aquele vídeo ontem de madrugada quando eu estava dormindo com a minha namorada na sala da casa dela. Eu acordei, comecei a ouvir aquelas vozes. Ela ainda estava dormindo. É, as vozes estão vindo do corredor. Eu vi muita gente que confundiu e pensou que ela que estava falando. É, eu queria que fosse ela que tivesse me zoando. Seria muito mais fácil encontrar uma explicação assim. É, não tem Alexa, não tem caixa de som, não tem nada disso. Eu só, eu não sei o que aconteceu até agora. Depois que aquilo rolou, eu acordei ela, fui para a cozinha, é, não postei nada, fiquei longe disso porque eu não queria mais saber disso o dia inteiro. É, eu comecei a passar mal, inexplicavelmente, no meio do, do rolê, eu, no meio do dia eu comecei a passar mal, eu tive que ir para o hospital. Então eu também fiquei ausente por causa disso. E agora eu estou fazendo aqui as respostas, a resposta do que, que aconteceu realmente ali naquele lugar. E... E a porta do meu quarto acabou de abrir. Não faz sentido, não faz. During his explanation, the door to his room seemingly opens by itself, and Giovanni explains that after hearing the voice in the corridor that other night, his health began to deteriorate, to the point he even had to be taken to the hospital, and even shows the little wristband they put on him. We can see that he does look very pale. Unfortunately, this is not the end though, as he is once again woken up to someone calling him, while he is home alone.
Once again, the same female voice from before can be heard, and this time, it seems to lure Giovanni to the door at the end of the corridor. But just as he gets there and turns around, we suddenly hear footsteps charging straight at him from the other side. <laughs> to which he quickly runs through the door on the side, and the video ends abruptly. This was the last piece of footage ever uploaded to his TikTok page, so many viewers have been left to wonder what was the fate of this man and his girlfriend. Just what do you think is going on here in this house? And is this a real ghost caught on camera? I'll let you judge. Similarly, another man by the name of Andy Winehouse experienced something almost the same. One day while he was home alone, he heard his own voice calling him from the dining room. Watch closely. Come here. Come here. Come here. He says he has been hearing footsteps and scraping noises which have intensified with each passing day, and over time has gotten much worse. On another day, he captures something absolutely terrifying. Come here, I don't know what you're doing. You can literally hear that. After some intense knocking on the door, he opens it, only to find nobody there. Just a cat chilling on the floor, but it couldn't have been the cat, so just what is going on in this family's house? He says nothing like this has ever happened before, until just recently, and he has now left the home to stay in a warehouse, claiming that he is being followed by something, and he just needs to relocate over and over again. So are these people really haunted by a strange paranormal phenomenon? Or is it just a simple ruse? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com Followed home TikTok user Team Alpha captured something strange one day when two girls were coming home late one night from a party and they just so happened to walk past a creepy person who was just standing there frozen on the spot. So the girls decided to pull their phones out and record the event and they captured this. <laughs> No, pero sí estuve chido, güey. No, a mí sí me gustó, la verdad. ¿Pero los conocías? No, güey. Tú. No. Sí, no mames, yo sé. Espérate, güey. ¿Qué pedo, güey? ¿Qué pedo con ese vato? ¿Qué pedo? Buenas noches. ¿Qué pedo, güey? ¿Qué pedo, güey? A ver, caminóle rápido, güey. A la verga. ¿Qué pedo, güey? ¿Qué pedo, güey? Güey, y no pasa nada de carros. Güey, no, eso nos pasa por andar en fiestas, güey. No mames, ya sé. La... ¿Qué pedo? As the girls approach their home, they look back and notice this creepy figure again. But this time, it appears to be following them home and starts to catch up to them. The girls then run straight home and attempt to lock all entries to the house to prevent an invasion. But whoever or whatever this is appears to be everywhere simultaneously. 
and that's when the girls begin to realize this ain't a normal person. After realizing that this must be something paranormal, they lock themselves inside the bathroom and things just keep getting worse. After locking themselves inside the bathroom, they call a friend to rush over quickly. Estábamos llamando a una amiga para que viniera. their friends arrive, this happens. <laughs> A random glass flies from the table, launching itself onto the floor, further showing these girls that this is not human. And afterwards, this happens. <laughs> They hear one of the girls scream from another room, but when they enter the room, there's nobody there, and then the bed in the room and sofa outside move by themselves, as well as the door slamming in their faces causing them to run for their lives. Like with any piece of footage, it is possible that this could be an advanced ruse. 
However, the reaction of all these girls seems very genuine, which would be hard to fake, especially to that degree. It's also creepy how that figure appears everywhere they turn to, along with the poltergeist activity. But in the end, you are the judge. <laughs> Twitch streaming. Twitch user Checo for you was streaming some gameplay on Twitch with his friend when suddenly something creepy was captured on his camera. Ay, cabrón. Chale, si se ve medio erizo, eh. Que... <laughs> Oy, me asustó tu voz, Checo. <laughs> es que tengo sonorante el Discord. Oy, me asustó tu voz, Checo. <laughs> es que tengo sonorante el Discord. Creo que sí, güey. La luz de atrás se prendió. No, es quien dijo eso. Eh. Deja, sí es cierto, güey. No hay alguien, ¿no? Quiero creer que sí, quiero creer que sí. ¿Mamá? No, pues estoy solo acá arriba yo, güey, de verdad, o sea, vivo solo acá arriba. No, es neta, miren. Estoy temblando, se los juro. Voy a apagarla porque pues no me qué miedo. Voy a seguir jugando, esperen. The light turns on by itself, but that's just the beginning. Acaban de tirar mi jalador del baño al piso, se los juro. Se los juro que no hay nada aquí atrás en mi cuarto. O sea, literal estoy solo, pero me acaban de tirar. Me hicieron eso así. No, yo creo que ya. Ya no quiero jugar esto. A little uneasy by the sudden turn of events, Checo considers ending the stream, but ends up capturing something chilling instead. Déjenme ir a dejar esto más. Estoy temblando, se los juro. Ya déjame cerrar el juego y voy a abrir otra cosa. Es que fue aquí, ¿no? Te digo, yo, yo no soy muy creyente de esas cosas, pero... LOL. Ya está cerré el juego, güey. Ya, ya, ya no quiero jugar neta. ¡Hola! ¡No mames! ¿Otra vez? ¿Qué rollo entonces no, te metiste no, a la si del juego? Voy a parar el stream, perdón, porque ya, ya me espanté y nos vemos. Bye. A creepy face peers out from behind the corner and vanishes the moment Checo goes in front of the camera to sit down. Another Twitch streamer known as Kuyoya makes videos on gaming, anime, and Pokemon cards, so you wouldn't expect any paranormal evidence. However, during one of his Twitch live streams, he's playing a game and he is suddenly interrupted by something behind him. Watch closely. He's not coming, guys. Brock's not coming. Oh, no. There we go. What? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. How many people we got? Hello?
Okie dokie. Um, my old hand vacuum fell over for some reason. Um, whatever. <laughs> he explains that his handheld vacuum fell over all on its own, but he decides to brush it off as a mere coincidence. But Kuyoya being oblivious at the time didn't notice what he had captured behind him. A black shadow figure leans out from within the darkness of the room. He then makes another video to show what it could possibly be. Okay, so right over here is where he was caught. Um, here's a little hand vacuum that kind of just went like that. Probably a little softer, but uh, that's roughly what it seemed to be. It was right here on the floor, so that's nice. Also, here's the stairs going up, and uh, here I will. Uh, I'll go up them just so that you uh, you all know what it sounds like. explains that it's impossible for someone to sneak up the stairs and get to the room without making a single sound. So just who or what is this? Kuyoya believes that this is a paranormal phenomenon and that this stuff does occur. But what do you think? Did these Twitch streamers capture real ghosts? You can judge. We are not alone. The next video was sent in by Depths of Despair viewer Isaac. If you don't remember, Isaac was exploring down the canal when he captured what looks like a shadow figure underneath the bridge. This time with his friend Ryan, they went down the canal and crossed the bridge leading to a big area with a small forest and some memorials. And after entering the place, they captured something utterly terrifying. What is that? Oh, this is probably for birds, man. Why are you scared of this? Why is that shit dying for birds, you know? Wait. That's not for birds, bro. That's just a tray. That's a bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's actually weird. And you got a bit scared once I was on my phone. I've got to be home in a minute. Let's just. Quickly. Wait on, wait on. Yeah, watch out for those. Entrance is right here, I believe. There's steps in the rock, So many leaves there. They don't even look like the trees have lost anything. Let's check this out. Look, it's a big statue. That one, isn't it? Yeah. So, Corbett Woodall, the governor, the Gaslight and Coke Company, 1906 to 1916. That's quite a long time. That is a big boy up there. There isn't as much as anything else around here, such a big tree. Nope. I see his thumb. Is he wearing a cape? I don't know. Looks like it. That's just a jacket, man. <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah. Boy. Probably just an animal. That's a big boy. That's a big boy animal. A... You need to keep an eye out though. I felt something on my back. For real. On the pressure. That was a weird one. <laughs> Check this out. This is a bit of a nice building. For their country. 
Let's go soon. These men died. It's a long list. It is indeed. Many of those members of the company who gave their lives in the war of 1939 to 45. They have one of these old lights still. Is that my camera? Yes. Look at the top roof there. I don't know. Yeah, it's nice. Let's check these ones over here. Cool. I don't know man, there's not much to explore really here. This is a lot smaller than I thought. Yeah. You still got the forest around the back. Oh, yeah. In proud and grateful remembrance, comrades in these woeful... Okay, I'm not reading all of this. <laughs> During the Great War, laid down their lives. Feed And ate their country. Mm. I was, this is the last thing in this area at I least. This is one of those old lights, they've never replaced this in the 20 years it's been here. Oh, it not run out. Oh. It's like an oil lamp, I think. I'm not sure. What does this say? Interesting. Are they actually all buried here then? I imagine so. Yeah, weird feeling standing here. It looks like there's a path there's a right there. Space right there as well. For real. What is that? Why is it wet there? That's fresh as well. Looks like somewhere you can just walk through as well. And there's another hole there. Why is it fresh? There's a weird one. For real. I don't know what's going on there. Boy, you're walking a bit far. It looks like there's someone standing over there with the light. Where? Yeah. It's just like a bush or something there. What was that? Oh, what was that? What was that? Did you not see that? No. What was that shit? Hey, what was that? <laughs> what? What? Run, 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 run! I just saw something. I don't know that. Right when they first enter, something can be seen going across the path. Then moments later, what looks like a hand can be seen on the corner of the statue before quickly moving away. And then Isaac captures something that looks to be hanging from a tree or levitating. And when they go to investigate, what looks like a dark figure comes rushing towards them. Isaac and Ryan just decide to get out of there without looking back. If we take a look at Ryan's point of view, we can also catch a glimpse of this entity. So, just what exactly could this be? A creature? A ghost? Or something else entirely? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Knock knock. The next sequence of videos comes from the TikTok page, um Sam I guess. She has experienced paranormal activity within her house which at first was very minor, but eventually escalated over time leaving her to think that her house is haunted. One day when she was clearing up the laundry she heard something and decided to record and this is what she captured. I tried to put away my laundry. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Later on, things got worse, and on another day, this happens. Okay, so I'm home uh, by myself. That's my car right there, the white Challenger. That's mine. That's my dad's Jeep. He went with my mom <clears throat> to the store in her car, and both of my sisters are at work right now. I am by myself with my dogs. Hi. Um, and I'm hurt, but that's okay. Um, and I hear him like all of this... I don't know where it's coming from and I've looked everywhere. I don't know where the sound is coming from. Oh my God. Seriously? Even while at work, she would experience paranormal activity. in here earlier um the lights aren't working at the moment uh this thing over here fell down that little pumpkin looking thing um i'm gonna try and brighten this video so i can you know show you better um this is the dry room where we keep the food and stuff and like the carts have like fudge on them or whatever um i don't know why that thing fell earlier i'm really Okay, yeah, no, I'm good, yep, mm -hmm. Now her workplace removed the kitchen and restaurant area, and now it just looks like a big empty space. And Sam decides to have a look, and what happens next is quite chilling. Okay, so I found this other room that's here in the kitchen area. Hang on. This room right here. Um... Hello? God, oh my god. After getting to the middle of a big room, we hear footsteps charging towards her. It seems that it's not just a specific room, the activity follows her no matter where she is, leading viewers to believe that it's not her house or workplace that's haunted, but it is her herself that has an attachment. So, is this a real ghost caught on camera? Or just a simple ruse? I'll let you be the judge. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com. On the baby monitor, TikTok user Joanna Pasco set up a baby monitor to monitor her baby just like most other parents would. However, she managed to capture something strange on the monitor that she just couldn't explain. Take a look. Okay, okay, okay. That's not possible. Is that the light? What the f is that? What is that? What is it? Look at the way. Look! It's lingering. Is it the light outside? Like, what is happening right now? There's no other light. How is this possible? Like, the, there's no pinhole empty. Like, the curtains, I pulled the curtains closed. You guys, what the fuck is this? And it's not leaving. It's getting near her. Oh my god. Did she just, did she just touch it? Where did it go? At first, she thought it could be a reflection of light, but then she realized the curtains are closed and the way it was moving was as if it was circling the baby and was too strange to be called natural. It also looked like the baby noticed it and even reached out to touch the orb, but then it quickly vanished out of sight in response to the baby's touch. She then decided to go into the room and make sure the curtains were closed and no light was coming in. Um, are you, you're not here to hurt us, right? Doesn't seem like you are. Um, you're hovering there, though. 
can I can see that you you're hovering. Hi. Okay. Um. There's clearly no light. There's no light. There's. See what I mean? Okay. Um. Hi. You're getting close to my side now. Um. Okay. Hi. Back to the crib, Evelyn. Just let the light in and see what I mean. See what I mean? We can hear in her voice that the woman is worried that this orb may harm her little daughter. We can also see that the orb was clearly visible with or without the curtains open. So could this be a spirit watching over the baby? Or is it something more sinister? Let me know what you think. Surprise. This last video comes from the TikTok user El Kukui, and in the footage a man explains how he has arrived home from work and he is in the house by himself, but something has been haunting the place and seems to target him more than anyone else. What he captures this night looks like something straight out of a horror movie. Watch closely. Work here by myself. This ghost seems to like to terrify me more than anything else. But but anyway, let's see if I can catch any of this, see how long it actually takes, because it seems to be occurring like every like two or three minutes. It sounds like it's either going from upstairs or the door and the door freaks me out. A creepy figure with long dark hair peers around the corner, and unlike most others, the man recording wastes no time charging straight into it, but finds nothing there the moment he turns the corner. We all know a close encounter with a ghost is enough to scare you senseless, but real or not, I'll leave the final judgement to you. She watches. Coming from the YouTube channel The Orse Laskins, this piece of footage shows a man who has been working overnight in the studio and has been hearing creepy sounds for the last few nights, such as footsteps even though nobody is in the building except himself. He says that just minutes ago he felt something touch the back of his shoulder as he was heading to the bathroom, so he has decided to record in case anything happens and he does manage to capture something very creepy. See if you can notice it first time. So it's about two o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been working in the studio and the last couple of nights I've been hearing really creepy sounds. Um, I've been hearing footsteps and, and, um, and like seeing things out of the corner of my eye. Now this is a really big old building and so that's got me a little bit freaked out but the top of it was just a, a few minutes ago I was going to the bathroom and I was standing in the stall and I swear someone grabbed the back of my shoulder while I was standing there and I freaked out. So if, uh, if something happens I want to have it on video.
this is where I was. As he is checking the cubicles, the door seems to close by itself, and just as he decides he's had enough and it's time to go, we see what looks like the ghostly face of a woman looking out from behind the corner. She watches him, but what makes this really creepy is the fact that the stairs go straight down and then downward to the left so there should be no platform for this figure to be standing on. So just how is its head all the way up here? Either this one is very tall, or has the ability to levitate, or this is a hoax and someone is holding something up high, but I'll let you be the judge of this. Not alone. TikTok user No Nong Pommy usually posts videos about spending time with her friends on days out, nothing to do with the paranormal. However, one day her and her friend went out to enjoy a festival that was taking place in the area, and while taking turns recording each other, they managed to capture something creepy that they couldn't explain. Take a look. Padahal masih siang, tapi gak sengaja kerekam. Aku kasih paham. As the two friends are recording each other, the camera just so happens to capture something above. What looks like a pair of two feet can be seen walking on top of the canopy when there shouldn't be anything up there. This left everyone confused as many people were saying, if it were a person a full shadow would be cast and you would be able to see but at the same time, we can clearly see the weight of the steps as the material sinks down with each step, so it can't be a shadow coming from somewhere else. So, is this a real ghost? Or something paranormal? Or can this be explained? Let me know in the comments. Another video by Nina Inton shows something absolutely chilling caught on a hidden room camera after she left her baby nephew alone in the room by himself.
It appears as though the little boy discovered the hidden camera and decides to pick it up. But just as he does so, a creepy pale face appears right in front of the camera before quickly retreating away. Many viewers believe this to be an evil spirit out to get the boy. It's hard to say, but I think it could be that when the boy went to reach for the camera, he grabbed a magazine or something which had this cutout that appeared to look like a ghost. But as always, you be the judge. Paranormal Apartment Alexander from Russia says that he has been living in the same apartment for over three years now, when suddenly strange and inexplicable paranormal events started occurring inside his house such as loud sounds that woke him up at midnight. Objects in the house were moving around by themselves, and on one horrid night, something laughed at him while squeezing his wrist in the middle of the night. But as he broke free and searched the entire room, he found nothing, and says that the activity has been increasing every day, so he decided to move but first sets up a camera on the last day to explain what has been going on and to see what he captures before he leaves. I just jumped and turned the light. This can't be scared. Now I Something is moving in the apartment and Alex thinks it could be the kitchen cabinet and leaves for two hours to meet a friend. Hello? Да, 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 сейчас приеду, ага. Давай, давай, давай. He then turns off the light and leaves. When he returns and reviews the footage, he decides that the quality wasn't good enough. So he goes to sleep and stays one more night. But this time, he leaves the camera recording in the light. And what he manages to capture is quite chilling.
After returning home, Alex is shocked to find his camera in a completely different position when all of a sudden, something completely horrifying happens. Это можно вообще... О, <laughs> A creepy pair of legs just appear behind Alex at the entrance of the room. The legs seem to have no torso and quickly disappear in an instant as he is startled by its presence. So, did Alex capture some very convincing evidence of the paranormal inside his apartment? Or is it just a simple ruse? You judge. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com. Paranormal Isolation. The next video comes from the TikToker Jay Barari, who has been featured on the channel previously. For those of you who don't know, she lives in a fairly secluded area on private property and has been experiencing intense paranormal activity and other unexplained events, which have only worsened with each passing day. This time, she captures something utterly frightening. Watch closely. Alright, so I'm outside with the chickens and you can clearly hear. You hear that, right? Alrighty, guys. That window just... Hello! Hello! I'm gonna go up there. Hello! Oh, shit. What the fuck, dude? Catch this fuck. I'm not fucking right. That was fucking clear as day. It's so fucking hot in here. Hello. That shit shows up because I just was. I, there's nothing in there. 
This is fucking insane. <laughs> Hello. Yo. Oh, hell no. A creepy pale white face rises up slowly to the window almost looking like some kind of doll but when she goes inside the guest cabinet to check she finds nothing there but the creepiest part is that when she leaves we can hear a loud sound something that sounds like some kind of dinosaur which scares her away hello Yo. Oh, hell no. Just what exactly is going on in this place? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. The Shadow. The final video comes from the TikTok user All In Is. And one day, she captured something creepy outside her window that left her baffled as she couldn't find a logical explanation to figure it out. Take a look. I'm like fucking scared. Uh, there is no one standing there, but there's a, a silhouette, like a, a shadow of a person. Um, yeah. The silhouette of a person can be seen just standing there against the wall, but there is nothing there on either side that could cast such a shadow. Also, the curtain quickly moves for an instant on the top left window. She later responded with a follow-up video showing that the shadow figure is now gone. I do believe in those kind of things a bit, but not as much, and I was so scared. I was not a little bit scared, I was scared, but then I decided to enjoy my bank holiday weekend and people from UK, I hope you enjoyed the bank holiday. Yeah. So as you see, there is nothing, nothing at all. Yeah. And that's a lamppost on like next to my neighbors and it would project like here. So yeah, nothing. So it wasn't a spray painting or anything like that. So just what could have caused such a strange occurrence? Was it something paranormal or something natural? Once again, the final judgment is yours to make. Lights out. The next video comes from the YouTube channel Howie Roll, which usually posts random videos on different things. However, there is one video that stands out in particular. No context was provided on the video except for the fact that it was captured in a rental, which appears to be haunted. And although the footage is short, it's definitely terrifying to say the least. Take a look. Watching that again closely, we see what could possibly be a spirit orb quickly flying past the camera, before suddenly the lights go out and a shadow figure appears almost instantly, as if emerging from the darkness before quickly moving out of the camera's view. But I guess many scary things happen when it's lights out that we probably just don't notice. So let me know what you think this could be and I'll be interested to hear any similar experiences.
If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com. Demon's Lair. The next video comes from the Reddit user Ben Taylor and was taken on an old underground station in the UK. A previous employee at the station said there were many unbelievable experiences around the station and the whole area is very haunted and other current employees have added that they have seen objects go missing on their own and heard very strange creepy noises. Now while working at this old underground station a group of staff heard a very disturbing noise and one of them decided to go and get a closer look. Not left there. I wonder what it is. I do, yeah. It's left it up, I wonder. Thanks, Gary and Dave. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It fucking see me, mate, and it fucking stopped. Do you I not hear it? Stop. Hear it stop, yeah. Come on, well, I'm going to get out. <laughs> I'm going to wait because we've got to do tricks. <laughs> As the staff member squeezes through the fence to go beyond the boundaries, what sounds like some kind of creature breathing deeply in a menacing manner can be heard. And at one point it almost sounded like whatever was making these breathing noises noticed this guy's presence as the sound changed and then stopped before continuing as the guy runs away. The staff member added that the area was checked for dogs animals and injured personnel, as the noise reported was causing staff members to stay away from the area. No dogs or pipes where an animal could possibly howl into were found, and nothing else was discovered the next day either. However, the noise did return the next night, lasting for around 20 minutes, but he wasn't on shift to capture it. So just what do you think this could be? Is it the demon's lair where some unknown dangerous creature or entity resides? Or perhaps there is a more logical explanation for this? I really hope we get to hear more on the situation, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts down below regardless. Cursed Clown Jacob runs a TikTok page called The Clown Doll 5. Jacob inherited an old house from his grandmother, which contains some creepy old dolls, 
and he doesn't feel comfortable living inside the place. And late one night, we find out exactly why, when he is awoken to a rather strange sound coming from within his bedroom. So he pulls out his phone and starts to record. And this is what he captured. Jacob hears a banging sound coming from the closet, but upon checking he finds nothing there. And just seconds later, he hears more banging coming from the door on the other side. At this point he is overcome with fear and quickly runs out of the side door. However, the creepiest thing was noticed after he rewatched the video. When Jacob wakes up from his bed, we can see that the clown doll is facing straight towards the bed. But once he comes out from the closet, we can see it staring to the side right at him. Since this day, Jacob has moved the doll downstairs away from his bedroom. But I'm not quite sure why you would have a creepy doll staring at your bed to begin with. So hopefully, he learned a lesson. Possessed. The next video comes from this TikTok user whose name I cannot pronounce. I believe the video was taken on a hiking trail somewhere in Mount Pangrango in Indonesia. While a big team was hiking through the woods, one of the girls among the group appears to have gotten possessed all of a sudden out of nowhere. And that's when one of the group members decided to record the event. What he managed to capture is undeniably chilling. Take a look. The girl's eyes seem to roll back into her head as she becomes unresponsive, implying that she may very well be possessed. One of the guys says a prayer in an attempt to bring her back to her senses. And then this happens. Many viewers pointed out that they noticed a face behind the dark moss tree. 
when the cameraman pans the camera around, but I guess it's a bit too hard to make out so we'll never know. But what exactly do you think happened to this girl? Is this a real case of possession? Or did something else occur? Let me know down below. Another video uploaded to the cursed video subreddit by user Fugly Trash Panda shows a woman who is supposedly possessed in a room along with some paranormal activity. However, no context is provided and nobody seems to know the original source. But this footage is sure to give you chills. <laughs> The woman can be seen tensing her hands in a rather strange manner before the door slams shut on its own, triggering her to scream and run off out of the room. Nobody knows exactly what happened to this girl, or if the footage is real or fake, but the lack of information adds to the creepiness. And once again, as always, I'll leave it up to you to judge. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com. Strange Encounter The next video comes from the Twitter page CTO Paranormal, and in the footage a man was walking outside through the woods, when he just so happened to encounter something creepy that he couldn't recognise. Take a look. A dark grey face with glowing eyes is seen looking out at the recorder within the darkness of a hole in the woods. The cameraman not knowing what this could be decides it's best to not wait and find out so he just runs away. I'm not sure what this is or if it's even real for that matter. It looks like an owl or an unknown creature but then again maybe it could be CGI. Let me know what you think. Another video posted to the same page shows a woman in Brazil filming some of the scenery when she notices something strange in the water that she cannot explain. Watch closely. Domingo, curtindo uma cachoeira em Lixe, Rio de Janeiro. Preparem o visual na mata. Agora o melhor de tudo é essa queda d'água. Muita água. Muita força. Uhul! E caraca! Tem uma coisa ali. Caraca, apareceu um cara ali no meio da água. Mozinho! Mozinho, você viu o cara no meio da água? Caraca! Ali, ali, mozinho! The woman notices a strange black figure sticking out of the waterfall for a moment before it submerges and resurfaces a few moments later. The woman seems confused because she thinks this was a guy in the water but it definitely looks like a black shadow figure. If so, that would be the first time seeing one in the water. 
But is it possible that this is just something natural that seems strange because of the angle of perception? I'm interested to hear your thoughts on this one down in the comments. Demonic Office The next sequence of videos comes from the TikTok page Cody Aaron 725 who has been experiencing some creepy and intense paranormal activity inside his office workplace. At first he was just capturing strange things on the camera, but then it got to the point where he was experiencing creepy events first hand. And so one night he decided to record himself showcasing where some of the paranormal activity usually happens. And what can be seen on the camera is absolutely horrifying. Okay, you guys, so uh, this is the door that moves on its own, and that's the chair that moves on its own. And uh, I'm just tired, you know, there's absolutely nothing here this time. I'm afraid there is something here. A creepy woman with dark brown hair and pale skin can be seen directly behind him, just staring straight at him menacingly, but seems to go unnoticed at the time. He then decides to quit for the night, thinking nothing is going to happen, but then this happens. I, I've not seen anything. Uh, it's 9.46, and usually everything happens by this time, but nothing's going on. There was way more people than what's usually here today, so I kind of guess maybe that's what it is, and I'm just going to call it a day. Uh... I'll start again tomorrow, maybe, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so, uh, I'm the only one here right now, and the door just closed on its own. Uh... He then heads to the security room and captures this. The motion detection center come on for this one. And I've not seen anything move, but that's exactly what happened last night before stuff started moving on its own. <laughs> uh. On another night, he is alone in the building once again and shows us the security cameras for each room. He explains that no motion is detected in one of the rooms. However, we can physically see that something terrifying is in there. Okay, so I'm here by myself. All of these green lights means that there's no motion, right? Look in this room. What in the world is that? That is insane. I have never seen something like this. This is directly beside me in the next room. Did you see that? It disappeared. What in the world? He decides to go and check it out himself. And must I tell you, it doesn't end well. I, I'm going over. I, I have to see what this is. See, and look. Here is the motion detection for me in this room. There I am on the screen. There's no motion detection. Look, look, it's moving. And there's no motion detection right there. That is nuts. Look at that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to need Eric's help for this. I, I'm not going to do this by myself. Uh, I promised him that I would do this, but there's going to have to be more people here besides me. After barely stepping foot into the room and turning the light on, a demonic voice can be heard saying, Leave. 
Okay, yeah, I'm going to need Eric's help for this. I, I'm not going to do this by myself. Uh, I promised him that I would do this, but there's going to have to be more people here besides me. The voice sounded very aggressive, as if whatever it was would have ripped him apart had he not listened. Many viewers were terrified after hearing this, and requested that Cody get some priests to come and inspect the premises. What would you do if you heard the same thing inside a room? Let me know down below. In the woods. The next video comes from the YouTube channel Light Road 12, who posts random videos about different things. But there is one video that caught many viewers' attention. The uploader states that he noticed something strange in the woods near his school, so he decided to go and investigate and ended up having a terrifying encounter. Dude, what is that? Oh no. Shh, shh, shh. What's that? As the boy enters the woods, a large creature springs out from one of the bushes ahead and charges straight towards the boy, who screams in fear before quickly turning to run away. He believes this was a Sasquatch caught on camera, but it looks like we'll never find out. So once again, I'll let you be the judge of this one. The Paranormal the next video comes from the YouTube channel JCG Dragon and appears to be the only video uploaded to the channel. The video has no context and shows a woman who has a terrifying experience while home alone at night. Take a look. I'm not preocupada en serio esta vez. Ya, ya me tienen podrida. Las cosas se mueven solas. Estoy recada hasta las patas encima, estoy sola. Ahí a la concha del olor. No me dejan en paz. Ay, no, 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 no. Ay, no. No, no. The woman can be seen crying in her room at night after being woken up by some creepy banging noises coming from another part of the house. She musters the courage to go and investigate and see some objects fly around the corner. But as she turns the corner, she finds nobody there. Until just moments after, another bang can be heard and the lights around the house switch off all simultaneously. And at this moment, we hear the phone drop straight to the floor. The video ends abruptly as the phone drops to the floor, which just leaves us wondering if she was attacked by some sort of entity. But it looks like we'll never find out, as this is the only video uploaded to the channel. It knocks. The first video comes from the TikTok page Daily Creepy Videos and although no context was provided, the footage shows a man being disturbed by some creepy phenomena taking place inside his house. And after hearing noises, he decided to record. Take a look. Pues si está abierta. 
Y pues de este lado igual, el baño está abierto. Ay, güey, están tocando la puerta. Some noises can be heard coming from one of the rooms, what sounds like a door opening and closing. But as he goes to check, he immediately hears some knocking coming from his front door, but finds nobody there. Yet he still decides to open the door, welcoming an entity into his home. Now what would you do if you heard knocking on your door and saw nobody there? Would you open it to check or not? Let me know down below. Watch your baby. In the first video, a father in Ireland was testing out his new baby monitor while his partner was playing with the baby. But as he checks the tracking feature on the monitor, he manages to capture something chilling. Take a look. You move these things like left and right as well? Oh yeah, you can. Oh, one sec, let me check if I can um, get your face. Say hello, Lise. What the f***? Lisa! Who's behind you? Hey? I swear to God, there's no one, is there actually anyone behind you? Seriously? I swear to God, I'm gonna stop this one shit. I've seen some. As he points the camera up, we can see the head of a creepy figure that seems to have its eyes set on the little baby. The figure appears to be looking in from the bathroom before quickly retracting behind the door. However, there only seems to be one way into the baby's room, so there couldn't have been anywhere for this person or figure to hide. Yet the father finds nothing in the room. I suggest you make sure to always check on your baby because you never know what may be out to get them. Another video coming from the TikTok user Marika DeWitt left her in complete panic for her little son. After one night when he was playing in his bedroom, she suddenly heard him screaming and quickly rushed up there to check on him, but everything seemed fine. That is, until she decided to check the cameras, what she saw left her devastated. The little boy appears to be arguing with something unseen, when all of a sudden the chair flips away from him, all on its own, and moments later he's pushed onto his back. Now the creepiest thing about this is that Marika was originally pregnant with triplets, but in the end the other two didn't make it, and at the time only one was born, so she believes her unborn twins may have tried to harm her baby.
but let me know what you think. In 2019, a mother by the name of Heather Brow discovered three scratches on her one-year-old daughter's cheek in the middle of the night. Attempting to find out what the cause was, she decided to check the baby monitor and that's when she captured something creepy. As you can see, a creepy looking figure walks into the room, which seems to alert the baby as she begins looking around. Heather said that her and her fiancé kept hearing footsteps running up and down the stairs, as well as an angry male voice. But they later found out that the previous owner died by falling down these same stairs. So could this be his angry spirit returned once again to torment the new family in his home? Or is it something else? I'll let you judge. In another video by Zain Abdullah, the parents of a child were extremely worried for their baby's safety because every night they would hear their baby crying and would end up finding him in strange places that he shouldn't be able to reach on his own. Fed up with the situation, the father decided to set up a security camera to capture these events and what he saw one night chilled him to the very core. Once again an unseen force torments a baby, this time it appears to be more powerful and sinister than the other entities, pulling the baby off the bed and even dragging him back across the floor by his leg. The baby tries to crawl back towards the bed, all the while screaming the whole time, but it seems to be no match for whatever's holding its leg and it's as if this same force is keeping the parents asleep through the child's cries for help. Eventually, the child is pulled off camera and I have no idea what happens afterwards. Real or not, I'm not sure, but it's disturbing to think what could be happening to your baby while you're not aware. Entity Imitation Facebook user Mickey Kano has been experiencing some creepy, unexplained paranormal activity for quite some time now. He says him and his partner have been hearing knocks on their front door during daytime, which he eventually ruled off to be a silly prank by one of the many children who live in the area. But this time, it happened at 3am when it was very dark and it was a lot harder, as if something big was knocking. So he decided to record as he goes to investigate, but what he saw was absolutely terrifying. He says he is 100% sure that what he saw was himself outside knocking on the door, leaving him completely baffled and creeped out as to what he has just witnessed. 
it's hard to tell from the footage, but it does look like a black figure shaped just like him, and as it turns to notice him, he runs straight back to his room. I believe this footage was taken somewhere in the Philippines, so just what do you think is at work here? Let me know. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over at depthsofdespair01 at gmail.com. It follows. For over a year now, Matty Ann and her husband Devon have been experiencing some creepy phenomenon, causing them to hear some creepy noises coming from outside their home. To make matters worse, Whatever is responsible for this is also wreaking havoc and causing property damage to them and the neighbours. On one night, Matty hears a strange creepy noise outside her house and decides to record it. What she captures is definitely chilling. Where the fuck did it go? Something or someone seems to be lurking outside watching Matty as she records, but quickly descends into the darkness behind a tree as she points her flashlight towards it. However, in the morning, she captures some footsteps that look like they belong to some kind of creature and later in the night, she records more creepy sounds. Jesus Christ. On another night, while sitting on her back porch, something starts to mimic her voice. I'm hearing something. I'm hearing something talk in my voice. I'm gonna call out to it, and I'm gonna turn the camera around. Hello? Hello? Oh. Once again, she captured something that went unnoticed at the time. A pair of glowing eyes can be seen staring at her direction from somewhere within the darkness of the backyard. Attempting to escape the madness, they decide to move into their new summer home in a completely different area. However, it didn't take long for it to follow them and resume causing fear. They start to hear the same creepy noises again, and so do their new neighbours. They show some of their recordings to them, and they confirm that they have been hearing the same thing at night. Cats in the area have also begun to go missing, only to be found mangled later on, causing everyone to keep their cats indoors. After the summer, they eventually moved back to their original house, only to be followed once again. Just what is this creature or entity that lurks outside their home and follows them? And is it a real haunting? 
or just a ruse. Once again, you judge. Haunted Attic. The next video comes from the TikTok user Dude My House Is Haunted, who I featured on the channel previously. Some of you may already know, but the man behind the channel has been facing some intense paranormal activity and originally thought it was the spirit of his long deceased wife come to visit him. Until after many terrifying experiences, he realised just how evil this entity was and has concluded that it is not his wife. He has been tormented daily and has been very stressed out. However, him and his partner decided to stay somewhere else for a while and while doing so, he captured something terrifying from his security camera. Watch closely. Hey everyone, uh, I just want to let everyone know that Eb and I are okay. Um, we're staying at my son's house. We've been there for weeks now. Um, I don't know how much longer we're going to be able to stay there, but uh, I was going to go to tomorrow to the house to pick up some, some stuff that we desperately need. And uh, I get this weird ring notification and um, I'm, I'm lost for words. The door to the attic completely opens by itself, sending a big box crashing down to the ground. And after the ladder is deployed, we can hear some slight noises which possibly sound like the footsteps of a little kid coming down the ladder. On another night, his partner wakes up to a strong burning sensation on her wrist, only to discover three scratches on her arm. As you can hear the refrigerator in the background going off, it's been going off almost constantly since then. It stops for about five minutes and then we'll go again for it's hours. It's been screaming for hours now. And this it's been going on since like the, the night we opened the box. Since, but since we opened the box. And this morning, my wrist was burning. It woke me up. It was burning bad enough to wake me up. And I saw this, and I immediately woke him up. When she showed me this, I, I thought, well, maybe she hit herself on the nightstand or something. But then I got to looking at I don't know. if you, It looks like three separate scratches here. After noticing the attic door had been left open that night, when nobody had touched it, he decides to have a look inside and that's when he notices that everything had been thrown around and something chilling can be seen up in the attic. Yeah, let's move forward. It's 
that were sitting up on top, I think, of this red yeah, still, tub, and the boxes were. As he pans the camera around inside, there's a brief moment where we capture what looks like the pale face of a woman, which was pointed out by many viewers in the comments. I'm not sure if it's possibly a mask, but it does look like something creepy is up there. What do you guys think? And hopefully we'll get some updates soon. Amidst the darkness, Amidst the darkness, this video comes from the YouTube channel Panji Petualang. But the strange thing about this one is that this channel is dedicated to finding different types of snakes and frogs and other animals. However, one video in particular shows something creepy. When one night the group was hunting for frogs and they ended up capturing something scary instead. Hello. They review the camera footage to make sure that what they saw was actually a strange humanoid creature and after confirming this, they attempt to locate it once again and run after it. Apaan itu, Pak? Lu lihat ya tadi, Pak? Lihatlah. Rining, Pak. It seems that they lost the creature amidst the darkness of night. But the question is, is this real or was it planned from the beginning? I'll leave the final judgment to you. It followed. Tim from the YouTube channel The Hooker says that he has been experiencing some strange paranormal activity inside his home for quite some time and is not sure why or how it started. The only thing he could think of was that a few nights prior to the paranormal activity, he saw something creepy outside and he thinks perhaps whatever this thing was, it may have followed him home. And after witnessing these events, he decided it was time to record, and what he captured was quite chilling. Um, so, I thought Fawn and David uh, were back, I just got out of the shower, and I heard, well it sounded like the door opening and closing, but Somebody's fucking here. And my cat is just staring at the fucking door. I know, messy room, I know. It's my sister's room. It creeps me out. Somebody's here. Stare over there at the fucking door. Chasey's. You're my witness. You heard whatever is at the door, right? God, if cats could fucking talk. That thing did. 
burning these fucking open. Ooh, I got the fucking chills again, dude. I gotta get dressed. I'm out of here, dude. Fuck that. I don't like phones closet. It creeps me out. Fuck it out of here. Rapid knocking can be heard coming from the front door, but it disappears the moment he opens the door. On another night, he hears footsteps moving around the house while he's inside his room and decides to record and captures this. Don't fucking scare me, dog. Fuck. Off, dog. You fucking see that, dude. Why every time I'm fing alone, dude? Fuck. He then heads out to the garage and sets up a camera after hearing noises coming from the area. God damn it. My fucking camera stopped for some reason. Alright. Anyways. Is it? Oh, oh, I'm plugged in. Once again, it's past midnight. Been hearing noises in the garage. I've been cleaning in here. I haven't seen anything but just weird creepy noises. So I come over here because it's gonna be plugged in, the battery's done. I heard a noise over by my truck. Oh, what the hell? God damn it. it doesn't end there. A few months later, his cat was acting strange and led him towards the bathroom where he captured something terrifying. Take a look. Wow. What? Where are you going in there? This is fucking right on.
As he turns off the light, a sudden bang is heard inside the room, causing him to turn it back on and pan the camera across the bathroom. And that's when we catch a glimpse of a black shadow figure lurking in the corner of the bathtub. So, is this a real shadow figure and haunting caused by something that followed him home? Let me know. And he is still uploading so you can check out more on the YouTube channel The Hooker. TikTok Ghost The next video comes from the TikTok user Lindsay Burke, who usually doesn't post anything paranormal, but during one of her TikTok videos, many viewers pointed out something creepy in the video. As you can see a strange black figure appears in the far back room while she's filming a little video. Lindsay then makes another video explaining where the ghost appeared. Hi guys, I'm just doing a quick update. So I just want to show you what's in that room and maybe that will make things a little bit easier. So this is where I filmed that video in front of this window. And then if you turn around, this is that room. And we do have a weird attic here that I've never been into. Um, so this is my husband's gaming room, which is even weirder. And um, this space sort of here, just, yeah, just here, is where the shape was. And even weirder, on top of my hairdressing trolley down here, I have this, it's not real, it's fake. I bought it as a placemat. I don't have the planchet to it, it's never been used. I don't now don't know what to do with it. I just use it to mix up bowls on top of. If you look at any of my hairdressing videos, I'm mixing all of my colours on top of this. Uh, what do I do with it? Someone give me advice. Now, she is unsure what to do with the Ouija board, thinking it could be related. Because, fake or not, it could still be used the same way. Now, in another video, she's home alone once again. But this time, she hears something that gives her chills. And I'm home alone. Great. It turns out her mic began to play radio static all by itself in the same room where the figure was sighted. So just what do you think is going on in this house? She did mention that she has an attic that she's never been in before, which could be the root of it all. And then there's that Ouija board she has. But I'll let you be the judge. I'm not alone. The next video was suggested by Mark Taylor and comes from a popular Italian YouTuber known as Fanksy, who usually makes people laugh by showing his viewers all different kinds of videos on the internet and reacting to them and sometimes gaming. However, in one particular video, he was recording himself playing a game and that's when the paranormal struck out of nowhere and he began to realize that he wasn't alone. Bene, ma direi che possiamo passare al prossimo livello di Damor. Fancy 3. Proviamo ragazzi, sono curioso di vedere quello che accadrà. Dobbiamo scaricare la canzone. Ok ragazzi, fermi un secondo. Ho sentito un rumore fortissimo. Ma io sono a casa da solo. 
spero sia il vento, ma non credo, visto che io chiudo sempre tutto, perché altrimenti ci sarebbero casini mentre registro. No, non è possibile. Ragazzi! No, adesso vi devo far vedere. No, vi giuro, raga, non è possibile. Allora, ragazzi, sono andato a controllare cosa potesse essere il rumore. Stiamo un attimo calmi. C'è la luce del bagno accesa. Vi giuro, io sono a casa da solo, non so se lo potete vedere. Stavo registrando, ho sentito il rumore della porta chiudersi e c'è la luce accesa. Raga, non sto scherzando. Allora, entro. Raga, sto tremando, vi giuro. Allora, come potete vedere, non c'è assolutamente nessuno qua dentro. Perché c'è la luce accesa e la porta sbattuta? Raga, vi giuro, sono a casa da solo e tra l'altro c'è la finestra chiusa. Quindi non può essere stato di certo il vento, per cui non so come sia possibile che la porta si sia chiusa da sola e si sia accesa anche la luce da sola. Cioè io vi giuro, ho spento tutto, ho chiuso tutto proprio perché dovevo registrare. Facciamo finta di nulla, diciamo che è stato il vento anche se era tutto chiuso. Ok ragazzi, rieccoci. Non so cosa sia successo all'improvviso la porta del bagno si è chiusa. Ah! Ragazzi, no vabbè, a, giuro adesso mi sto cagando in mano però veramente Raga sto tremando, sta succedendo qualcosa di strano e non sto scherzando Ragazzi, la porta l'avevo chiusa Raga si poteva vedere prima che ho chiuso la porta quando sono entrato No raga vi giuro, che cavolo sta succedendo Cioè ha sbattuto a caso, ma poi con quale violenza No raga No ragazzi dai ma non scherziamo Ragazzi C'è la luce accesa di qua Ragazzi era spenta prima l'avete potuto vedere Sono passato da qua ed era tutto spento No ragazzi ma non scherzo Cioè perché c'è la luce accesa qua de... Vi giuro No ragazzi sto impazzendo Ma che cavolo sta succedendo Raga vi giuro non lo sto facendo apposta Raga sto tremando da morire Non so se si vede Ok ragazzi Via io non ce la faccio Quando succedono queste cose Prendo E me ne vado assolutamente Adesso mi vesto Vado in macchina Perché mi sto cagando in mano Non so quello che sto facendo Sto impazzendo raga Ragazzi No ragazzi vi... Raga vi giuro su quello che volete Si vede Ragazzi Ragazzi si sta muovendo Via Via assolutamente Non me ne frega nulla Alexa buonanotte ma va a cagare, non mi interessa. The sound of a door slamming out of nowhere catches him off guard and startles him. Upon inspecting each room, he notices the bathroom door is now shut and the lights inside is turned on. Now a little creeped out from the unexplained occurrence, thinks he decides to continue playing once again. But this time his door slams open in an instant completely sending him into the depths of despair. He then finds the light on his bedroom turned on when it was off just mere moments ago and upon passing a chair rocking back and forth by itself, he reaches his limit and decides it's time to leave the house and go cool off inside the car. Just when he thinks it's over, He gets a motion detection notification from one of the cameras set up in his office and what it captures is utterly terrifying. A creepy humanoid figure is seen getting closer as it slowly approaches the door until suddenly it starts moving backwards and fades away from the camera's vision. YouTuber thinks he was completely paralyzed in total fear after seeing the sight of something unknown inside his home, and he even decided to stay the rest of the night inside his car. He says with absolute certainty that he was 100% home alone, and also that this was his first ever paranormal experience. If so, He must definitely be a believer now. 
that's all for today guys but if you like this video subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload and with that being said you can follow the original depths of despair on instagram tiktok and twitter see you next time guys